I'm delighted to be able to say that today we welcome in Athens delegations from the parliaments of Italy, from Portugal, from Cyprus and Spain to discuss the possibility of setting up a group med, a group in other words, or network of committees of foreign relations and defense from the EU Mediterranean member states. We had a very interesting, thorough and, um, a, a, and considered debate on the common concerns, interests and challenges that we face here in the Mediterranean, both as a result of a geographical proximity, but also in terms of our history, tradition and the major challenges and crises we're facing at the minute. As I said, the discussion was extremely detailed. We ended up adopting drafts of a rule book, of a set of rules for the future uh, meetings of this group, and also a common declaration, an Athens declaration. These are still drafts. They will have to go to the committees and the parliaments of the participating states and the two states that were unable to be with us today, uh, France and Malta. And once this process has been completed, then we can say that we have established here in Athens a group made of uh, uh, European parliaments. I think it is terribly important at this difficult juncture for all of us, and particularly for the member states of the Mediterranean uh, countries, to create that sense of collaboration, of exchange of views, and even perhaps of developing common policies. We have the two major crises, the economic crisis and the refugee and migration uh, population flows we have experienced in the previous periods and still today. And I think it is important to turn those two crises into an opportunity to coordinate our activities and to develop again the huge spirit, the huge idea of Europe that started in the Mediterranean and needs to come back into the life of the European Union. Thank you.